While most kids are coming home from their second day of school with CCSD, some parents still trying to get their kids registered for school. That's right. Well, the district has made changes to the shared housing process through which proof of residence is verified. Jeremy J. Ford reports. It's just frustrating is what I'm hearing from parents after leaving the education services building with everything from waiting in long lines to providing certified paperwork in order to get their child into school. It's really stressful because she could have been in school since yesterday. Monica Felix tells me she's been trying to get her child in school for over a week, but due to the CCSD process, she's had problems. They asked me for all these things. They asked me to email CCSD, which I did, I never got a response. And she's not the only one frustrated. Brianna Hall is also having troubles getting her child enrolled. The frustrations are they have us pre-register these students for school, and then we still have to turn around and go up to the school. Students' schedules are not ready. Then they want us to bring in these forms yet again. Superintendent Dr. Jesus Jara says the district warned families. Parents always wait to register or come in, and, and there's there was a change in process. We've centralized it, but we've been communicating. Dr. Jara says there was change for verification purposes, and parents should be patient. You know, there's going to be some. Um, delays and bottleneck and but I we are deploying staff there as well to make sure that we expedite and get our kids in front of our educators in the right schools in their in their classroom. Some parents claim the process was changed without any notification and are upset their child is missing school. It's been two days. This is day this is gonna be day three tomorrow because I'm still not done with the process. Jeremy J. Ford, live local now. Jeremy, thank you for that. Well, to ensure that your child can attend school through the uh, shared housing program, parents must show notarized proof of address, the child's immunization records, a birth certificate, and proof of identification. And, of course, you can find more information on 8newsnow.com.